That looks like a good way to keep warm in the coming few days because if you think it was cold last weekend, it's about to get colder. The difference this time is there's an increased risk of some snow. Nothing untoward for the time of year. After all, it's November and most of it will be limited to Scotland. But nevertheless, it looks like the first significant falls of the season. We'll be watching, I'm sure, some pictures coming in later this week. But for the meantime, it's cloudy and it's grey, basically, for many of us. The thickest cloud still through Northern Ireland and from southern and central Scotland to North Wales. And it's here the rain will be on and off through the rest of the day, misty, murky, damp and drizzly. Whilst further south, even though we've a lot of cloud, it's drier here, it's brighter. We've got some good sunshine to be found for the East Midlands and East Anglia. A little bit of brightness too further north across Scotland, but here it's pretty chilly already, just six or seven degrees. And it will turn quite chilly for a time overnight, but for most of us, temperatures will barely drop. We keep all that cloud and, if anything, more rain coming in through central parts of the UK. So we dawn on a similar note tomorrow, cloudy, overcast, grey, and drizzly. A little bit brighter to the north of Scotland, but if anything, more cloud here to start and more cloud in the southland today because that weather front will tend to sink its way southwards. So not as bright for the Midlands and East Anglia compared with today, but instead probably brightening up for Northern Ireland and Southern Scotland instead. But by then it will start to feel much colder. We pick up a northerly wind near gale force by the end of the day. And so it really will feel quite bitter if you're heading off to Edinburgh to watch Scotland's football match tomorrow evening. And surprisingly, quite chilly as well over in Madrid for Spain's match against England. You can catch that on Match of the Day tomorrow evening. But it is going to get colder as I've hinted, and especially for Scotland. It's here we're likely to see that snowfall, particularly the north and the east, but also perhaps the southwest of Scotland. Several centimetres falling on the hills, that gale force northerly wind making it feel bitter, blowing the snow around. But for the rest of us, probably the main problem will be the frost. You can see how it comes or becomes more widespread and harsh by the weekend. And the other problem is after some rain, of course, ice. So ice, frost, and in the north, some snow. Yes, there will be some snow around on Thursday, but also some sunshine, crisp and dry for many. Further south, however, very different story. It could be quite wet, and in fact, we could take most of the day on Thursday to get rid of that rain from the south coast of England. But following, the wintry showers will filter their way southwards into North Wales by the end of the day. And not only will it be cold, but it will feel even colder, just six or seven add on that strong northerly wind and it will feel below freezing wrap up war manor thank you helen and it is still on its way